What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Walter War, Super Fact Show, Super Facts Network. Today, we got with us Atlanta's own Q Nova. How you doing today? Bless. I'm doing good. How you? I'm chilling, chilling. I can't complain. Almost Friday, all that good stuff. I mean, it'll be Friday when y'all hearing this. So, um, <laughs> I mean, y- you're quite an accomplished person. And, uh, I mean, you made your mark a lot of ways already at a young age, music, school, all that good stuff. But, uh, you know, it's been a minute since we got some new music. I mean, not, not, not that long, but, you know, we we are ready for some new music. So for your fans, when can they expect something? Okay, so right now I'm focusing on two of my singles. So I'm ready to put push out music, you know, as much as I can. But like being able to like focus on one or two projects at a time to get it where it needs to be, that's what I that's that's my plan. That's the team's plan. But I'm always making music. I'm always writing, having backup and stuff. So are you probably gonna release any songs anytime soon or anything? Man, probably within the next week because I'm ready to drop some else for real. Yeah, well, I can't wait. I mean, I'm, I remember the checkup. I remember the, the, the song that was so nice. You didn't give it a title. You just called it Freestyle. And, <laughs> you so know, you get it. okay? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I listen to everything repeatedly. I, man, yes. I, I, I ain't like I ain't like nothing. Man, I, I listen to music. I, I don't even understand being involved in music. If you ain't gonna listen to it. Exactly. You got those music ears. That's how it is. Yeah, but I mean, quiet as kept. It's a bunch of people involved in the music industry. And they don't, they don't care nothing about no music. Oh, there go that checkup. But um, so you said it's hard to uh get two projects finished at once. So w- w- what's the obstacle? Like, 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 are you a perfectionist? Well, it's not hard to get it done. It's just what I try to do is try to focus on one to two projects at a time so I can make sure I got it over all platforms um make sure people engage in them in those individual tracks instead of just boom dropping a lot of tracks I want to make sure they got all the placements I and stuff you. yeah I got you yeah you I mean yeah if you're gonna put effort into songwriting which you I, I definitely you talking about listening to your music I definitely see you into that songwriting uh your songs are very well structured I like the bridge hooks a lot but um you might as well make sure everyone hears every word right yeah yeah, I feel a lot of people, you know, they uh they put too much music out. Like, I mean, you could be the biggest little B fan in the world. You ain't never going to listen to all that music. Right. Exactly. You know I mean? That's, yeah. I mean, I, I guess if it, get, if, it, if it gets somewhere, then it's, it's good. You know, if you get three songs here, three songs there, that's better than having no songs nowhere. So I guess it's, it's just however you want to do it. But when you feel your words are important. And, you know, speaking of uh, important words, so you, you, you graduated. Man, I'm, I'm probably going to say this wrong. You know, Magna cum laude, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's how you say it. <laughs> From um, what what college? It was uh, Ashford University. Okay, and uh, yeah. what, what what does that mean, Magna cum laude? Like like, what, what does one got to do to qualify for that? And I, I mean, hear you. okay, so getting on dean's list, you know, I went to school for four plus years. Within those four plus years, I was on dean's list, so they pretty much you know put me in that little that little category of um, great benefits and stuff, you know, even after graduating, just great benefits of um, discounts and stuff like that, just being known for your hard work in school. Got you, I can dig it. And your major was sociology, huh? Yep. So if, if yep. you hadn't gone into music, how would you have applied that, that, that degree? Because I know there's many applications to a sociology degree. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, me being an artist, like I'm a, I'm a, uh, I also do uh, mobile nail tech. I do candles and soaps. Um, okay. I love just art in general. Uh, I'm a mobile ha- mobile hairstylist, so I want to use that to like do something like um, therapeutic. You know what I'm saying? Create my own business out of it. You know, so because all that got something to do with like your mental your your mental state. You know, like grooming and um, just relaxing and spa stuff like that. So I want to use that and pretty much turn that sociology into my own little business and do something therapeutic. I mean, that's what's up. That's the model of abundance. I wish more people, you know, exercise that. Like you want to make money, but you want to create and you want to do something you enjoy, which means you'll be a happy person. The people around you'll be happy. And, you know, <sighs> more people had that attitude. It, it, it was spread just like negativity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people like my family was telling me, hey, why don't you, you know, do social work and, you know, that stuff can be like emotional, you know, as far as with oh, dealing yeah. with and stuff. I want to do something more in a happy setting, you know? 
No, so. I, can, I, I can do that. I mean, I'm, I can dig that. And um, I mean, for real, who, who's to say that like your music is it doesn't have the same benefit? I mean, one, one song can touch a thousand kids. If you're in yeah. one kid's face, you know. Therapeutic as well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So with that being said, what, what what's the time that you felt that uh your music was particularly therapeutic for you? Um, well, it's always therapeutic when I get into my feelings about something I want to specifically write about that other people can relate to. Because I have a lot of tracks out, like as far as loved ones I've lost, um, just speaking and being, bringing that like uplifting, you know, so being able to escape into my music and, you know, show my real side and share my feelings. That's when it becomes therapeutic to me, for real. Got you. What's the last you what's the last time you remember something that you wanted to write about that, that motivated you like that? Like do you remember the last one? Um, yeah, I wrote one and it's not out yet, so but however it will be soon, but it's called Everywhere You Are. And so pretty much, you know, I lost someone that was very close to me. Um I wrote my song and put all my testimonies in it, like as far as you know, the supernatural things that I experienced. You know, like dreams, vivid dreams, things that actually came to life uh, from what that person I lost said, which uh, made everything clear that, okay, this was for real. You know, um, double number numbers and stuff like that. You know, I just, I take all that stuff like very serious and I I believe in it, so. I mean, I, I, I do too. You know, I don't think I ever yeah. told this story on, on a podcast. One, one time I woke up and my grandmother was like, I, I grew up living with my grandmother. And she okay. was like, she was like, what, 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 what was wrong with you last night? And like, like this is an honest woman, RIP, but uh, like, like, like if, if they gave her too much, like a nickel too much back, she would turn around the car and go to the grocery store and give it to, to him, like, like super honest mm -hmm. lady. And uh, I ain't never known her to lie ever. And I damn sure ain't never known her to tell no stories. And she said that the night before I came in the room, I don't remember none of this. I, I came in her room and I was like, Grammy, the man's here. He wants to tell you that he loves you. I mean, make a long story short, she married a dude that was like 60 when she was like 25 and he died in the 50s. I never met him, obviously. And uh, the next morning, the morning when I was talking to her, it was the anniversary of his death. And I came in a, in a room at like a little bit after midnight. And so, you know, I would hypothesize that that was his spirit, you know, trying to talk to her. Wow. Okay. That's touching too. Like I'm getting the chills from hearing that stuff. Like, yeah. I mean, and 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 before that, I mean, I I I went to church a little bit, but I damn sure wasn't into like ghost stories or nothing of that nature. And I never yeah. was like really in tune to the supernatural. And I ain't really yeah. had too many experiences like that. Well, I I, I had I had one experience like that since then, but that's another story. But uh, it it, it ain't something that's a big part of my life. And uh, you, you can kind of tell who who's real with it, who's like uh, kind of putting you on. I mean, I don't know, like like you know, I grew up in the black community, going to the black church, right? And and you could tell who really had the Holy Ghost and who was faking it. You know, what I mean? right? Yeah. I mean, man, I've encountered like a lot of things and dreams from waking up, you know, hearing the voices waking me up, actually waking me up and stuff. I mean, it gets deeper than that, but, I, you know, I won't pledge you with it, with it. Maybe we'll talk about it later, but um, it's very, very nice to know that, you know. Yeah. I mean, things like that, you can find comfort in it. I mean, to take it out of that subject, you can look at anything in life that way, like how you look at it. You know, you can either find comfort, you know, it really is it's how you frame things for, for a lot of things, you know, and, and what might be a curse today might be your blessing tomorrow. You know, some things I thought was bad ended up being good. Yeah. See, that's why I like this show. You know what I'm saying? That's why I follow you, because, yeah, you can pretty much, you know, get like, I, I don't know, get into anything. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, conversation, you know, I like that instead of just directly into one uh, thing or topic. I like that, you know, people can get to know an artist better, you know what I'm saying, by just hearing the stories, different stories. So, oh, yeah, I mean, how many times is, is somebody going to ask you, like, who do you want to make a song with and all that type of stuff, you know? Right. Or like, or like <laughs> I, mean, I mean, in your case, it'd actually be interesting. I, I, you you was going to be one of the few people I was going to ask, but talk about cliche question, questions yeah. like, how'd you get your artist name? And, and, and in your case, you know, I actually am asking the question because I'm not even going to try to play myself out and say it. You know what? I've, you know, somebody, it, it's been like, I don't know, somebody said, what in the world is, how do you say that? Is that a boat? You know, being funny and stuff. And I'm like, okay, let me break this down. So Q, that's from my biological name, Quachavius. Quachavius. Uh-huh. I think Q, 
is I'm so, you know, I'm very feminine. So I'm very like kind of girly, girly a little bit. So and then again, I'm half kind of tomboy. So, <laughs> but Q is such a, a pretty letter. So I took the letter Q and then Nova, that's the brightest star in the galaxy. So, you know, that's what I feel I am. So Q Nova. <laughs> I, hey, I, I can dig it. Just out of curiosity, you, uh, you, you, you watch James Bond movies? No, I'm mean, into my favorite is is horror. I, I like scary movies. You, you know that old lady who be uh giving them all the the orders and shit. Her name Q. For real? Yeah, yeah whoever's boss is always named Q. The last little movie, it was a man Q, but it's it. Well, I ain't gonna spoil, spoil shit to nobody. But uh, yeah, most it's of the time, out. It, yeah, it's out. No time to die. But that got a man Q because like the old Q died and like. The, 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 the Daniel Craig's James Bond's movies, the, the, those are all right. The other ones is, is, is Jack Corny. But uh, the ones with That's the old, I, I forgot her name. I think Judy Dench, Dame Judy Dench. She, she played okay. Q. All, the, all those movies are good if, if you like. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's, it's realistic fighting. You know what I'm saying? Realistic it, action. I mean, as far maybe, as it can be. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll check it out because I need to get around this scare movie stuff. <laughs> well, well, well the, the, I'm telling you, the older ones is better. Um. Man, I, I'll hit you up on IG. I don't, I don't remember, like, I remember two of them was, like, really good, like, Quantum so Quantum Solace and Spectre, I think. I don't know. I mean, that's neither here nor there. But, uh, what about oh, Matrix, you know that Matrix yet? Yeah, I, 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 I ain't really like it. It was too me meta. You know, I thought I thought it was a little pretentious in the writing, but then the dialogue did. Like, if you're going to bring up that, that, that level of conceptuality, if you will, like, the dialogue has to match it. You it does. I mean? And I thought a lot, a lot of it was retreaded, but uh, Homeboy to play Morpheus, I, I, I love that motherfucker, you know. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you see The Watchmen on HBO? No, I didn't see that one yet. Oh, you have to. It's the best thing. It's, it's one of the best things that ever fucking came out. I always, I always pass by that. I'm going to check that out tonight. <laughs> man, man Re Regina King is the illest motherfucker in any superhero property ever. That's what's ever, up. ever. I mean, probably okay. in real life, too. I, I, I love to meet Regina King. That's like, like, that's like one of my heroes. But uh, that's okay. Oh, yeah. Back to Boys in the Hood and Poetic Justice and all that shit. Yeah. And then she kind of like went away for a minute. I don't, I don't even know what her story is, but like, I, I know she went through it. She had to over. She wanted to went away. You know what I mean? And, and then yeah. she came back. Now she's leading HBO shits. And I mean, just, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I did a lot of time and then, you know, I, I done got my life together. So I, I love seeing Good. people who, who, who I, I love to come back, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, I you, like, you got I, true people that can happen. I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I like your setup, what you got going on in the back right there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you did that yourself? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, records, books, a lot of those things. This this thing, I forget what it's called, but it's online and uh, free prints, free prints. So a lot of those posters is just I I, I find a picture on, on like Google image search that I thought was cool, you know, like yeah. some Black Panther shit or something, and uh, Minute. and then pay to get printed and like a a, a huge ass picture is only like seven bucks, and you get a hundred like this for like three dollars. Man. Speaking of that, I draw too. You know, that's part of being an artist. I can draw you just like, just like how you look now. <laughs> oh, it, it probably come out of me looking better, but uh, shoot, I'm, 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 I might take you up on that shit. Oh, put, exactly. some, put, put, put some frosting on this shit. Tell the world it's cake, right? <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah. So you talking about the the um making stuff. So what what goes? You said candles and what? What was the other thing? So what, what goes? Yeah, and it's part. Yeah, soaps. I do like the natural soaps. Uh, How do you make it? Like, like what's involved in that? I do a meltdown of of the pure form, of the pure solid foam form. I do the meltdown. I may add it's uh, uh, some type of essential oil, depending on the customer. I probably add like some petals or herbs or nothing, just depending on what they want. But it's basically basically uh, aloe vera, hemp, uh, and cocoa butter. Oh, and, and you give people like their own their own blends, huh? And you give people like their own blends, their own recipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give them the choice to have their own. Yeah, yeah. Do they do, you, do they ever ask you for like advice and and you look at the person and think, hmm, that's a sandalwood type motherfucker right there? <laughs> yeah, I probably say, hmm. Okay, so I see you might break out a little bit like me. You need to go with the shea butter now. I'm just <laughs> Nah, nah, I can dig it. I, I I need the one for the uh shoes. You you probably the, the one the one the one asked for advice then, man. No matter how much water I drink, no matter what, I always be having like a little bit of dry skin right here. Yeah. Like like and I, I ain't have like bumps like that when I was little or nothing, and, and not really no no skin issues. So like what 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 would I do to address that? 
I would suggest probably like um just keeping it moisturized because you say it's kind of dry. Like like scratching off a little bit, like a, just a tiny little bit. Like um, I would say like a little bit of tea tree oil is good, but not just you have to like dilute that because that can be like a burning sensation. But other than that, like a little bit of uh, pure cocoa butter, butter and um, look, I'm kind of country, so look. <laughs> A little cup of butter, um, whether it's a soap or um, I like to use like the simple stuff. Sometimes it's only the simple stuff that, that can fix this stuff that you think you need to look up online and stuff like that. It don't even take that. So sometimes the simple things is better. Yeah, nah, see, that, I want something simple because like what I be worried about is like clogging my pores and, and you know, I don't know. Do, do you know what fragrance is? Do I know which one? No, do you know what, what fragrance is as far as being an ingredient in soap or beauty products or things of that nature? Yeah, are you asking me, do I use those? No, no, do you know what it is? If, like if you look on any, any, any product from Walmart, any beauty product, right? Any shampoo, any soap, anything, there's gonna be an ingredient called fragrance. Mm -hmm. And basically it's a way, like anything that has that, for instance, is illegal in, in England. So like when they make, um, I don't know, pick a brand, like ivory soap and they sell it in England, it doesn't have fragrance in it. And, fra hmm. and fragrance, they, they, they did a loophole where they say it's like a proprietary ingredient, but what it really is, is like toxic runoff from the, from the factories. Wow. And, and, and in America, they used a governmental regulation loophole to be able to put their waste and back into their product. See, so you, you, just put, you just put me on on something. So, I mean, a anybody who's listening, look it up, look up fragrance, like fragrance as ingredient. Yeah, I mean, all, all this is, is, is easily, is easily Googleable or whatever. And uh, I mean, and yeah. that, that, that's just straight poison. I mean, they, they think that's why, like, for instance, um, yeah. some scientists think that that's why, like, uh, American women have a higher rate of breast cancer because it, so, it's, it's literally it. poison in the deodorant. So, look, so do you order your stuff offline more or how do you shop since you know that? Like, where do you shop? How do you, where There's do you get your- called Tom's. This, this, like, often at places. So no matter what, I can usually find some Tom's. That, that's all natural. But uh, a lot of times I just try to meet people like you you know, and then uh, see if it works. Cause like you, sometimes you'll get deodorant and it will smell good, but it won't be effective. So, you know, you, right. you're like trying to avoid that fragrance stuff. So you got, you know, just mix and match and trying things. When someone okay. says something like I make soap, you ask them a question, see what they say, yeah. test it out. Okay. Treat life like science and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Find hypotheses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, check that out. Everybody need to know that shit. I saw that shit in some documentary on Netflix about uh the, the, this this dude's uh another thing is like the stuff that makes clothes flame retardant mm -hmm. you know, like everything in america got this, this i saw the documentary homeboy uh like daughter died from cancer or his wife died from cancer and they determined that she probably got the shit from the flame retardant shit on their sheets which is uh has to be put on there but it's like another way that they get rid of environmental waste mm. or I, I don't know if, see I'm, I'm going over I, I, over my head now not like like dirty shit in the factory. I don't know if that's environmental waste or not. I think it's not waste until they get it, put it in the environment. But, I mean, that's pedantic. But yeah, I mean, it's all kinds of bullshit. So that, that, that's right. how I'll be trying to find shit. I mean, that, that, that's enough on that. The, uh, I want to finish up with, uh, you know, one thing, the magna cum laude. A, a lot of things jump out your bio. But, uh, you know, Kurt Snow. And I'll mm -hmm. never forget the first time I saw Snow on the Bluff. You, you know how, like, uh, the Netflix just be playing? Right. Man, somehow it ended up on that when I was like in the room at someone's <laughs> house. And it's like when the white people's driving the car right before he makes his appearance in the movie. So like I come in the room and it's like my kids or something. It's either my wife or my kids and they're not even really looking at the, at the TV. Like whatever they had watched, it just went off and then went back to whatever, I don't know. And, and, and like, I'm, I'm, I'm there like right at that moment. I'm even in my head like, oh, they about to get got. And man, but yeah. So tell me about meeting Kurt Snow. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's pretty, uh, you know, you'll be like, oh, man, I thought that he was just this old thugged out um, individual. No, nah, he's, he's laid back. He's laid back, uh, respectable, pretty cool, down to earth. Yeah, I always imagine him as having a big vocabulary. Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty cool. I think, I think you'll love him. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Oh, I'm you'll sure. be. I mean, shit, you want, you want, you'll make an introduction. I, I, I. I I, I I ain't too humble. I, I would love to have Kurt Snow <laughs> on the show. Shit, I don't got right. no cut cards. You feel me? Yeah. Shit, if you're gonna ask for something in private, might as well be ready to ask for it in public. You know what I mean? That's right. 
Word. So do you have like a, uh, I know you, I know you got a website. Can they, can they avail themselves to more than just your music? Like, can they copy your soap and all that stuff from, is that, what was it? QNovaOfficialENT.com? Is that, is that the site? Uh, no, it's, um, it's not, it's, it's at Gmail. Quachavius, uh, no, QNovaOfficial um, at Gmail.com. No, I'm talking your website. Yeah. That's what it is. That's an email address. Hold on. What do you ask me? What's your website? Oh, my website. And, and and can they get the soap and stuff on your website? No, they can't get the soaps and stuff on there. Like I have just actually, music. yeah. Um, I said at gmail.com. I'm tripping. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. As far as my soaps and uh my soaps and candles go, they can get that. They can actually follow me. Instagram, yeah. Well, check me out on Instagram at Qnova uh, candles and soaps. Yeah, and she'll, 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 uh, she'll link y'all to all, all that good shit. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, so I, I can hold you too. We, we, we gonna get, we gonna get a new song in the next, let's say three weeks or so. Yes, I'm really looking forward to do that. I just want to come, I just want to, um, see what the team want to do, you know, what they think is best because, you know, we want to, we don't want to put out too much, Right. you know, we don't want to give out too much and, and not being able to focus to make like I said certain um songs successful first you well, know I have different genres that I do as well so you know I need to actually pitch those out to the platforms that is needed like right now believe it or not I'm working on an EDM an EDM track I mean that's believable I was just listening to my uh my Diana Ross and the Supremes Go Country Western album <laughs> So, I mean, shit, I mean, in a way, genres is, is like limiting. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an easy identifier to like understand shit quickly, but ultimately that shit's irrelevant. You know, all, mm. all, all, the, the legends mostly don't have genres. Right. That's true. I just, you know, as far as when it comes to me, like, I kid you not, every time I crank up my car, I got it on uh, Sirius Satellite Radio, Channel 51, which is BPM. Hey, and I, I believe you. man that music inspires me like um it puts me in a whole nother zone you know you wouldn't been a been a rapper people would could probably consider me just as a rapper like i sing as well and my favorite genre is like edms the music the way how it flows and just the different emotions inside of that track you know what i'm saying i, I love it Hey, I, I can dig it. Shit, ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing right. wrong at all. Plus, I mean, shit, that's that's a hella new audience. But you said you uh you gotta tailor the releases to different platforms. So, is, is there a platform that, that's more suited for EDM than others? Um, that part right there, we're learning. That Got part you. we're trying to figure out. You know what I'm saying? We independent. I'm an independent artist, so it's still right. things that, that I'm always open to learn and and do. Um, I'm actually working on that, like as far as the track itself. And then we're actually researching to see where we can put it at on the biggest platform that's gonna work best for us. Like I wanna get that on um, I wanna get it like on in, on iHeart, just all the 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 great all the where the greats are known. You know what I'm saying? That's where I want to place my music at. And you know, I'm pretty well, I'm pretty I do pretty good at it. I mean, that, that that's where it belongs. I, and I, I got I got faith in you. Shit. I I I, I certainly believe you can do it. I appreciate it. <laughs> no doubt. Um, uh, any, any last words? Anything we ain't cover? Any last um, words? That sounds terrible. I should never say that shit. <laughs> Is there anything that you want to say that we, we didn't go over? Yeah. So I just want to say, like, you know, me and the team, pretty much, we've been working hard, man, especially last year. You know, we got put in some magazines, magazine placements, blogs, um, FM radio, um, just a whole lot of stuff, man, we've been working with. Getting on great platforms like this, the one that you got, you know what I'm saying? This is a blessing, you know, to have you. I want to give a shout out to you, you know what I'm saying, for having me on your dope platform. Um, we all, me and the team, uh, personal producer, Pat Ryan Beats, also told me to tell you he appreciate it, man, because it's a blessing. You know, it's a blessing to uh, be offered and be welcome, you know, to oh, people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anytime. Tell, 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 tell him shit. We can do a show with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, my manager, uh, Nisha Murphy, she also wanted to give you a, a shout out, you know, and tell you thank you. You she know, about for her business. She good. 
That girl good. Yes, yeah, she is. She is. Um, she does. She, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, shit, before we get out of here, make sure you uh, drop all your socials and, and anything else you might want to plug. Okay. Well, basically, you know, I try to narrow everything down. So if they go to Instagram, follow me at Qnova Official, you know, on my website, everything they need, whatever they need to learn about me, they can go from there. You know, Google me on, uh, Google me, Qnova. You know what I'm saying? Stuff will pop up and, you know, from music to videos, you know what I'm saying? To news press releases and stuff like that. You know, it's all there. That, and then when they, if they if they see this on Dirty Glove Bastard, the Dirty Glove Bastard post will have all your videos, um, you know, little, little embeddable Spotify players, all that good stuff. So we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, have, we'll have it all together. So I just want to say, it, and I, I don't usually say this, but uh, it, it, it was really nice to meet you. Oh, thank you so much. It's nice to meet you as well. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, I, I would love to check in with you a little bit down the road to see how things are going. I really enjoyed Def this. Definitely. Let's definitely do it. I'm with it. All right. Well, anything you need, just let me know. And, you know, stay safe out there and take it light. Thank you so much. No doubt. Peace. All right.